Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we're looking at Valstein Castle. This is an expansion to Valstein Keep, so if you want a smaller version of this then you can have it. This one added the walls and other such, all sorts of things actually. And this mod is by Balsa58, I seem to be on a bit of a run of his mods at the moment. It's very cool, kind of dour but serious looking building isn't it? You can walk all around these walls, which are guarded, by the way. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get down and have a closer look and I'll show you where we are. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you get here. There's a for sale board outside, honestly. Can't remember what I paid. I think it was 30,000. I'm not sure. It was a couple of days ago now. So there it is. Valstein Keep, it's called. It's near Fort Sungard and Rorikstead. <laughs> you can see which direction I came in uh, from White Peak Tower. Okay, so it's got staff, by the way, which is very cool. And it goes already indoors. You can close this portcullis by going up into one of these little towers, which I'll show you in a second. Can I just say, though, that building, I'd live in that. That is just lovely. I really like it. So pretty. Okay. There are also servants' quarters here, too, by the way. Um, so there's somewhere nice for your people to live. We'll go down the other one. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. And as you can see, the portcullis has dropped. Actually, I think that is the servants' quarters. We'll go over there in a second. There is a vendor here, the blacksmith. And as you can see, his area is right here at Kill that poor sabre cat who followed me in. Each one of these can be closed. There he is. Hello, dude. Orgulf. Let's see what he's got. Okay, so various weapons and apparel and some crafting materials. Nice. And then in the little room next door. Wood chopping block, and then next door to that, just a plain old stable, but very nice. Lovely building, don't you think? Okay, let's have a look at the servants' quarters. And look how nice with a little roof on that. Ooh, my lighting just went funny then. So the servants hang around in the castle, as well as um, just, you know, just generally for the guards. There's quite a few beds in here, so there's four on this floor, they can do their own cooking. Not bad, is it? Servants. Who has servants these days? Does anybody actually, apart from maybe royalty? Oh, hey, sleepy guards. Get up and get back to your post. I mean, it wasn't that long ago, really, was it? That like the 1930s people still had servants, maybe before the Second World War? Um, not that I'd like to be one very much, I don't think. I could see myself as a housekeeper. But if I had to be the person that cleaned the dishes and, you know, scullery maid, that would be a pretty crappy job, wouldn't it? All right, so just going off on a ramble there. I do apologise. All right, so let's have a look inside the actual castle. Um, as you can see, you can come out of another door, walk along there. Hello. Uh, and that'll take you out around basically all of the walls so you can see them all if you want to there's no um uh what are they called um mashy no i've forgotten the word uh, uh whatever anyway this is you what you see is what you get i'm gonna use all the power of my brain mashiolations that's the word i'm looking for isn't it there's none of that type of thing um, so if you go through here, that'll take you out to where you just saw that guard. Some weapons. And then this is really the dining floor. Love the fireplace. That's really neat. There are also in the corners these little turretlets. <laughs> this one will take you up and down the stairs. She's gone to the wrong one, obviously. Please hold. Hi, Haringia. 
Who are you? Oh, there's a bard here as well. Oh my God. If you haven't got um, relaxed bards where they just, you know, shut up until you tell them to sing, then what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so there is your alchemy in here. Potions, poison, storage, nicely named. Ingredients. And then a little viewing platform. I'm going to get so lost, I just know it. And then you're enchanting. And I think that's it for this floor. Okay, you watch, I won't be able to find that staircase again. Is it this one? Nope. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Okay, let's go down. Oh, nearly missed a room. Okay, so there are several of these latrines. Uh, scattered throughout the property. Handily placed, I think. Very nice. I wish the torches were lightable. You know, the candle sconces on the wall. Okay, and then down into the basement. I think this is where the kitchen is. Oh, some big old storage tanks. Your cook. Look at the windows. Isn't that cool? Hi, Darla. You sell as well, or nope, just, just, just there. And an oven. All right, let's head up to the next floor. Okay, so we've got a storage room. It is very castle-y, isn't it? it? I really do feel like it's an excellent castle. There you are, Inigo. Hey, my dude, just chilling. Display cases, somewhere for your paragons. And like this mod author's other work, you'll find various places scattered about where you can store your special items. This is a really nice floor, actually, for storage of such things. Look at this. Archon sword. Nice spot for that. Black books in this little room. I like the architecture very much. Ooh. Oh, your Elder Scrolls. Cool. And what's that for? Wooden mask. Very nice. And, oh, just general weapon storage. I can't bear seeing candles that aren't lit. That's what it is. I think I just want to go around lighting them all. Okay, so it's a nice little floor. And then up again. And I think... Oh, here you go, whining about his fleas. I think this one from memory was, uh, yeah, your bedroom. With vampire coffin, just in case. The urge takes you. You've got a little study in there. Your own toilet and washroom it's got all the th it's got all the, th the doings hasn't it and then a treasury nice i wonder if that populates if you put stuff in it let's have a look have i actually got much oh, i've got some money okay let's see let's put in that much Oh, yeah, I can see already. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, that's that's awesome. I do love that, don't you? Can you change the armor? Not on this one, by the look of it. You could do it at his last house that I was at. Okay, so there's some um, a shrine there. That also seems like it is what it is, and you can't change it. And then... Oh, like a little dressing room in here. Nice. <sighs> That's another thing I wouldn't mind having in real life. <laughs> Servants in a dressing room. Hmm? All right, and then finally, by the way, this is um, Hearthfire multiple adoption friendly. And this will be, I guess, this is your kids' room. Yeah. Cute little beds. Another shrine. Mm -hmm. 
another bed. Blimey, there's loads of beds. So what is that? Six then. Nice. And they've got their own toilet. What book has he given them? Oh, I see. It's just static. Okay. All right. Moving on. I think this just takes us up to the roof. Yeah, it does. Okay. Wow, what a beautiful sky that is. All right. So each one of these little tiny towers you can walk through so that you can walk all the way around nifty oh here comes the weather and then you can get up onto these little tiny platforms also uh, and get even better view of the terrible weather Ooh, the mountains look misty and romantic though don't they all right well i think that covers just about all of the basic details of this place it's very cool it's not too big there's room for six kids you've got a staff what more do you want wow look at that sky the only thing is there's no pool here uh, no actual bathroom but at least hey toilets so that's something fantastic all right i'll leave it here call that the end of this video thanks as always for watching take care and stay safe everybody